Yeah, okay. Okay, so why are, we, I don't like full screen because now I can't see you. Come on, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> ah. Whoa, hold on, bear with me. Zoom out. Dude, what did I do? Someone help me, who has a Mac? Exit full screen. Okay, now I can see. Sorry, I like totally feed off of your guys' faces, so I need to see you. Okay, so <laughs> why Pinterest? This is a really great way, it, even if you don't have a website, you don't have to have a website to benefit from Pinterest. And so it's a great way to meet new people and then get more traffic to your content, whether that be a Facebook page, YouTube video, um, or your website. And so this is, if you do have a website, you can download a plugin Google Analytics and post it on the dashboard of your WordPress site. I know that's probably like Greek to some people, um, Google it. But you can see the top refers, this is like the top refers of places like where people are coming from to land on my website. The top refer for people coming on my website is Pinterest. And that is without me <laughs> knowing what the crap I was doing. Um, and so Pinterest is huge for, cause if you go on Pinterest, you see how many times people are like are repinning stuff. And so if you have good content out there that's being shared a lot, it can land a ton of eyeballs on your stuff and get them interested in what you're doing. The other reason I really like Pinterest is because it's content value over time. And so when you post something on Facebook or Instagram, you get like people that are online at that time will see it, but then by the next day it's gone unless you comment after it or share it again. But with Pinterest and with YouTube, it builds over time and it starts to get more views over time, more shares, more repins. Okay, so that's another reason why I really like Pinterest. Okay, so I wanna to talk to you about setting up your profile. Um, does anyone have a Pinterest account yet? Yes, okay. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I've done a couple of well, just trainings. The regular, I'm not a business one. I've done a couple of trainings on them. You want a Pinterest account that's a business account. And so I think you go to business.pinterest.com to set up a business account. You can actually get it verified. You can get your website verified, which I have not done yet. I did and I changed my website, so I need to do it again. But okay, so when I started actually learning what the crap I was doing with Pinterest, I had 800 followers and that was a month ago. And now I have 3,344. So it grows fast. <laughs> and that's without investing like a ton of time in it. And so it kind of goes the same thing with how you set up your profile on like Facebook or Twitter, that kind of thing. You want your name and a good picture of you. And then just a little blurb here, kind of like how I have, so people know what kind of content you're bringing out. Um, so if you have like weight loss success story, something that you love, what you're going to be pinning. Um, so like I love wine and chocolate and travel and God and that kind of thing. So that's what they can expect from me. Okay, let's see. Creating boards. So there's something called above the fold. And so when people come to your page, the first couple of boards they're gonna see are these. And so these are the ones you want to be the most eye-catching. Um, and so the ones down here, they're not like that great. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure the most important ones, the ones that are really about me and what I'm all about are up here. So health and fitness, recipes, um, my workouts, weight loss transformation, money saving tips, those are the things that I'm about. And so I want to make sure people are seeing those first. And so Pinterest is also great for SEO. So a lot of times when you're searching on something, Pinterest is going to come up first in the search engines. And so when you are creating boards and naming boards, think of that with SEO in mind. And so if you go on Google and you can search easy, healthy recipes, you can see what comes up. And so, see, look, Pinterest is one of the top searches. So just think about what people are searching 
um, when you're creating your board titles. And so I have health and fitness tips, easy, healthy recipes, weight loss transformations, money saving tips, slow cooker recipes. Um, and so when you're creating your boards, you want them to be specific. And so I wouldn't just do one really broad board with like all kinds of recipes. I try to break them up. So I have like super fast, healthy recipes. And then I have ones that are paleo specific. I have Mediterranean diet recipes. Um, that one, that's not good. I need to leave that one. Healthy smoothie and shake ones. Um, 21 day fix recipes. I have one board specific for 21 day fix because that's something a lot of people are searching for. And then I also have, so I have a lot of different boards, 21 day fix workout results because that's something that people are going to be searching. And so when they come across that, they'll see it. Healthy chocolate recipes. And so be specific with your title and think SEO strategy. So when I quit, click on 21 day fix workout results, you can see all these different pictures. And these are ones that I just repinned. They're not my, well, this one's my own. Um, <laughs> there was one I posted that I got repinned a ton of times. Okay. So do you have any questions about creating boards and titles of boards? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a website, there are certain plugins that you can download that um, are going to make it really easy for people to be able to pin right from your site. And so if you go to my website, which is a mess right now, oh my god, we're trying to figure crap out. But there's three different plugins that I recommend. There's Pin It, you can get the pro or light version, Pin It button for images, or simple social buttons. Um, and so you guys know how to install plugins if you have a website? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no? I've had trouble before with trying to get a Pinterest button. Okay. And I don't know if I'm just being dozy about it or if it was just tricky or... It can be kind of tricky. I don't know. And so, yeah, my, my website's a mess right now. But if you click on, like, let's, let's say... Oh, and you guys be sure you watch this video because I created that for you. How to expand your network. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I have a pin it button right here on top. They can share it here. And if you hover over the image, they can pin directly from that image too. And so you want things, if you have a website, so it, people can pin it really, really easily from my site. And so I'll show you really quickly. I don't want to like overwhelm you. But if you go to the dashboard of your WordPress site, And you scroll down to where it says plugins. You can just go to add new. And then do a search for Pinterest, pin it button. Pin it button for images, there's so many. Um, these are the three that I recommend, pin it pro, pin it button for images, and the simple social buttons, those are the ones that you saw above the blog post where they could like it, tweet it, pin it, Google Plus it. I don't even know if Google Plus it, what, it, what do you say for Google Plus? I don't even know. Okay, Pinterest pin it button. So I, you just click install, and then if you go down, if you look at your ones that are installed, See, there's a ton of different ones. You would just click activate. And so then it would be activated. So it's pretty simple. Okay, so those are different plugins. What should you pin? And so when you're on Pinterest, you can pin other people's content. So let's say that I'm looking for paleo recipes. If you're going to repin other people's content, I recommend that it's something that has been repinned a lot. And so this one's great. This has been repinned 6,736 times. So I'm gonna pin it to my, see, I already pinned it. I'll pin it again to my paleo one. Anything that has been repinned more than a thousand times, that's something that I would repin. And this is way easier to do on your phone. It's so much faster on the app. And so then I would look at this board and see how many pins they have. And if it'd be a board worth following, I would see how many followers they have. If they have a lot of followers, I would follow that board too. 
Okay, so this one has over a thousand. I'd probably repin that one too. And so that's kind of what I do. <laughs> Whenever TJ's breastfeeding and I have some spare time, I'm on my phone on Pinterest just repinning a bunch of stuff. So that's pretty fast. You can pin your own content. And so there's a couple different ways that you can do that. If you're on, you can do it directly from Pinterest. If you have an image that you want to pin, you can go to your site and click on whatever board it is that you want to pin to. So let's say busy mom workouts. So from here, you just go add a pin. And so you can upload it from your device or from the web. I'm choosing my device, choosing an image. I have a couple saved to my desktop that I have no clue what they are. Whoa. There we go. And so now I'm just doing a description. Here's a quick workout you can do to shrink your saddle bags. And it'll post to Twitter. Okay, so I'm going to pin it. And then see it now. And then from there, you can actually edit it. And so since this is a workout that I did on my Facebook page, I'm going to show you a trick. This is so fun when I learned this. I was like, oh my god. Okay, let me find the video. This was from yesterday. videos there we go okay so i'll click on the video and you don't need to see me work out so i'm gonna pause it but i'm gonna take this link copy it put it to the pinterest and the source is from here and then i'll say click on the image to watch the video and so right there i'm driving traffic to my facebook page from pinterest Pretty cool, right? You can do the same thing with your YouTube videos. So let's go to YouTube. And I'll go to, do you have a winning mentality? That's when I have to watch. <laughs> I follow like all the top coaches and watch their stuff. My channel. Okay, so let's say I want to pin this one. I'll watch it. And then if you go to share, pin it. You can pin all the videos you do. Interested in learning more about becoming a beach body coach. Here's a super short webinar explaining what it is we do. So that would be my board beach body coaching. Okay. So those are two different ways that you can pin. You can pin from your website. You can pin from Facebook. You can pin from YouTube. So those are just some examples. Any questions about that? Okay. So repinning or your own content either way. Let's see, gaining followers. So I talked about um, following, commenting on people, let's see, repeating more than a thousand, follow popular boards. And so what I would do is search popular boards on Pinterest. So easy. <laughs> Most popular boards on Pinterest, um, best Pinterest boards. Sorry, it's so slow. So I would go to the ones that they recommend. <laughs> Top Pinterest accounts to follow. They have 27 gorgeous Pinterest boards. So I would just click on those and follow those people that have like, you know, 100,000 followers, a million followers, that kind of thing. So this is something you can do every day. So every day you can repin a couple people's images. You can upload one image of your own from your Facebook page. You can follow a couple people on Pinterest. Okay. You can comment on people's boards. That's something that's really cool that a lot of people don't do. Um, so, a 
a lot of people don't comment at all on Pinterest. And so this looks good. Wait, hold on. How do you actually click on? I'm so used to doing it from my phone. <laughs> there we go. This looks awesome. So I mean, it's just something easy. I might comment like I, I pin similar content on my boards too, something like that. So then people will be like, oh, well, she has similar stuff to this. I'll go follow her too. And then you can also, this is a great way to meet people to form because you have the opportunity. Let me see, is it right here? I can follow. Somewhere you can send a message. Maybe. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Messages on Pinterest? <laughs> messages here. Okay, so if you find someone that has content that you like and you want to get to know, you can create a message and send it to them. So look, Megan sent me a message. And that's a really great way to meet people that are interested in the same kind of stuff as you are and start forming them without getting banned like from Facebook. <laughs> So make it your goal, like every day, I'm gonna form five people on Pinterest and see what happens, you know? You never know with different social media sites what's gonna happen. And so that's just a great way to meet new people. And like I said, the biggest thing is to be consistent. With any social media, consistency is key. And so I talked about connecting other social media sites, how to create Pinterest images. Okay, so Monkey and Canva are my two favorite ones. If you look on Pinterest, the pictures that do really well are the long skinny images. And so those are the ones that you wanna create. So if you go through your feed, especially when you're scrolling fast on your phone, Pinterest has a lot of these long skinny images. And so that's kind of what you want to recreate. And so if you saw my workout boards, how I created these. I created the long skinny images by what I did. So I basically took a screenshot of this picture four different times. I made sure I did it on the, let's see. Yeah. If you play it from your page, you can actually see it where it has like the little video play sign. So I make sure I did it with a video play sign. And then I just went through it and did a couple of different screenshots and shared it to my desktop and then created a collage. And so you can pick a couple of pictures from your collage. Let's do these. I think that's them. Yes. Okay. And so what I do, if you click on this, the layouts, you can do ducks in a row and just turn it. And so that way you have a long skinny image. And I'm going to do this kind of fast because this is something you can play around with a lot. So I'm going to add those images back in. So I have the video one. No, I don't want that one, that one. And that one. Okay. Now I'll just click on edit, open an editor. And that's where I could just add some text right here. So free workout on my Facebook page, click the image to watch. So just something super simple like that. Um, and I always do it kind of like in my colors, like think of like branding yourself, what you want your brand to be like. So it's kind of sloppy, but you get the idea. So that's just one way that you can create a card. You can do this with recipes too. So if you like cooking and creating recipes, you can take a couple pictures of whatever you're eating and put pictures of it here and put a little description of what the food is. So really easy. So that's Pick Monkey. Canva is the other one that I like to use. So if you go to Canva, they actually have a Pinterest size layout. And so if you scroll through here, Pinterest, you can create a Pinterest layout right there. Oh, it's getting hot in here.
Shalene Johnson, I think, actually did a tutorial on how to use Canva. So I'm not going to go like in the super detail here. Um, but it's really so Google Shalene Johnson Canva tutorial and she'll show you how to use this because it's a little confusing at first, but it can be great to use too. I usually use PicMonkey, but this one, if you have like a background image, like an upload, let's see, you can put it to the back and then I can say something like um, super or peanut butter, banana stuff, French toast on top. And so that's pretty easy. So that's Canva. Leave page. Okay, so I talked about connecting with people. Okay, that's all I got. Questions? <laughs> you know, in the beginning when you talked about using or transitioning or I should say transitioning, making your Pinterest board a business board. Yes. Can you use your personal one and turn it into one, or do you just have to create a whole new account? Turn in a Pinterest board into a business board. I don't know. I turn to Google for everything. Convert now. Yes. So you can convert. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, I've got all these pins and it looks, to like, start for rock yeah, it looks like you can, you can convert. I just recommend cleaning up your boards so that they look clean and inviting. And so if they don't look business professional or anything like that, you do it now. Another thing that I forgot to mention is these okay. pictures, you can choose the cover picture for each board. And so you want to make sure whatever picture you choose for the cover picture, it looks good. So people are likely to click on it. I think you can just click edit board. Yeah, if you just click edit board, that's when you can choose what you want for the cover picture to be. Why is that one on my recipe? Shut up, get out of here. Delete pin. Pinterest mistakes. Any other questions? <laughs> Do you guys see this as being a cool strategy to help you build your business? Yay or nay? I think it's almost easier. Right? Instead of like Instagram or other social media outlets, you know, it's kind of like instant messaging where you're not quite <laughs> like you could still be comfortable, but not be like totally invasive. It's way easier because you post one thing and it, like if it's good content, people will keep repinning it and repinning it and repinning it. So I had like one blog post that I did that I noticed I was getting a ton of traffic on it. And I was like, where is this coming from? It was all coming from Pinterest. And so I was like, oh crap, I got to make sure I check out this blog post to make sure it's actually good. And so I like went in there and <laughs> wrote some of it. It's, yeah, it, <laughs> I did um, Natalie Jill. Has, if you go to Natalie Jill Fitness, she actually has a Pinterest like tutorial program. That's what I did. It's like $147. I just went over everything that she taught condensed version. So you don't have to spend $147 if you don't want to. Um, but so she shares some coaching videos that she does like with her clients. Christine Dwyer is learning how to do this. Tara Carr is learning how to do this. And so this is where some of the top beach body coaches are realizing Pinterest is the place to be. So we need to figure this out. So spend, spend some time on here. It doesn't take a lot of time. Like I said, whenever TJ is on the boo, I'm just like pinning, pinning. All right, let's go. So really easy. Just like 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. Instead of scrolling through your newsfeed on Facebook, get on Pinterest. I actually deleted my newsfeed from Facebook from my phone, so I will be on Pinterest. <sighs> Rachel, I just have a question. So do you have a personal Pinterest board as well, or did you totally get rid of that? Just business. You can create secret sure boards, though. <laughs> you can hold on. Let me show you something fun. You can create secret boards and collaborative boards. So we could do a team board where we're pinning stuff that we want to do like for a team and no one else sees it. So I did, um, I don't even think my husband saw it, but I created a board and shared it with him for our dream house. <laughs> I doubt you saw. I was showing him when we had our night away. I was showing him Pinterest and how awesome it was when we were talking about our dream house. I don't even know where it is. 
is gone. <laughs> what other questions do you have? So then do I just delete my personal one altogether and start over? Like I have one that I've had like just for like crafty stuff and like just if like it's not content that you can use like this for your business. I would just delete it and start over. Okay. <laughs> if you don't have miss all my pictures. <laughs> I mean, you could just make all the boards that you have secret right now or clean them up and then convert your account to a business account. So, I mean, it's up to you. Okay. What other questions? I love Pinterest now. It's so, it's so more like <laughs> gratifying to like open it up every day. And I'm like, I have a hundred new followers from not paying anything. Holla. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have for dinner holy moly <laughs> salmon hummus and roasted vegetables no wine and i haven't had coffee since like three i had two shakeologies up, but that's normal i don't know i didn't work out so that's it and they took my blood so maybe that messed with me too i don't know <laughs> what other questions do you have I'm wondering, you said you use simple social buttons. I was trying to set mine because I realized the other day I only had Facebook and Twitter on there. And I think I might have had Google Plus at one point. I'm not even sure. But I noticed when I was on my website the other day that none of my posts had the whole, you know, pin thing and all that or whatever. I hadn't added Pinterest yet because I've had Pinterest forever. I just barely use it. And I'm trying to use it a little bit more now. And, but I noticed that they're not on there. And so I went into my plugins and I went to update it and there's no place to put in my Twitter thing, my Facebook thing. Like, where do I find that? <laughs> you can actually it's very edit the plugin. Uh, That's what I was trying to do. And then I'm like, uh, you can edit the plugin <laughs> the Pinterest. Let's see if I can troubleshoot with you. Cause I thought I had it set up at one point, but it, it must have like kicked out or something. I don't, I don't even know. Settings, simple social buttons. So if you go to settings, you can go to simple social buttons. Where's settings? And then here. What does settings look like? I have, I have you on one side and then my window on the other. So I'm only seeing like little buttons rather than. I don't see so settings. Here you can select oh, your social media buttons that you want to share. And so originally yeah. Pinterest wasn't one of them. It was inactive. So I had to put it and make it number one. And I put it before the page content. So that's what I was looking for. I'm like, uh, where is it? <laughs> that what you needed that that's but I mean it's there but I mean I don't know how to put in what my stuff is like my actual like I have it set up like that my one two three four but I never told it what my Pinterest ID is so I don't know how it's going to find it <laughs> you know what I mean it's not for your Pinterest ID it's for them to be able to share it on their uh... I see what you mean, Hilla. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, so you don't need yours. I was like, you totally messed with my head for a second. I was like, wait, what? Wait, I, well, that's where I confused myself. I'm like, why is it? But I think it's still not showing on my thing anyway, so I don't know you have what to, I did. So. Yeah, you have to click play around. that one and then make sure it's activated and then click Save Changes. And then you can have it check these buttons before the page content. So I have this one, yeah. Google Plus is one, Facebook is two, Twitter is three, Pinterest is one. Yeah. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but thank you, that clarified that point for me. I forgot that it's for them to do, not for us to do, obviously. That's a whole different thing for them to follow us using those types of things. So, yes. Cool. <laughs> yes. Cool. Any other questions?
questions? Seeing people shaking heads. Okay. So was this helpful? Yeah? Okay, good. Oh yeah. Good, good, good. If you have other like ideas of stuff you want me to talk about, just let me know. Um, I'm almost done. Pads. Paper pads in his closet. I'll be right there. I have to go. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>